Hello, and welcome to my first video blog. I kind of promised these a while ago, so, um, sorry. Let's just say that time is not always on our side. It's time to talk about what it means to be a church for people that don't know how to do church. Friends, let's face it. We know how to do church, right? I mean, most of us do, I think. We've got our culture. We've got our things that we do. We've got our way of doing things. We've, we've got all this. We've got our language. We shall speak in a certain way, and we shall use words that are known to none but us. We don't even realize we're doing it. A church for people that don't know how to do church means we're going to try to avoid that. If I could steal, and believe me, I would like to, Rock Church's slogan of same message, different language, if I could steal that, I would. But, you know, sorry Chuck, you get to keep it. I'm not going to steal it. Might steal that heart bomb thing, though, we'll talk. A church for people that don't know how to do church is just that. Not only not know how, but maybe they don't want to do it the way they've done it before. There are certain things that when I read about what millennials want in the church, and there's an article every single day from somebody about why the younger kids are leaving. What do the millennials want? How do we keep the millennials? And I'm reading all this stuff, and it says, well, it's not a real experience. It's not genuine. It's not this. It's not that. I'm like, I, I want a real experience. I want it to be genuine. I want to know what the church is for. I want to know what we're doing to love people. So I'm thinking to myself, self, as I often call myself, there is something to this. There is. And there is. And that's the idea. There is something to it. But it's not just the millennials. Church doesn't have to be about what we want. Actually, it's supposed to be about finding a way through Jesus to glorify him so that he is lifted up, so that he is the important one. He is the point of what we're doing. And let's face it, not everybody stands, sits, kneels at the same time. Not everybody sings the same songs. Not everybody uses the same translation. But if we have a church that's a little different, I mean, some things can't change. You can't change the gospel message. You can't change the word. But you can definitely change how we say it. And I don't mean trying to be relevant. Because let's face it, a lot of our attempts at relevant are really kind of cheesy. They don't work. And maybe they did for a little while, but yeah. It's just not holding anymore. The way we're different is by creating a different environment. Allow people opportunity to ask questions. Things like, and you can read this on the Freedom Church blog, intentional hospitality. That's a big one. Intentional kindness and love. That's kind of big. And there's a lot more. But I think all of us, and myself included, because I've been serving the Lord a long time. I have to change how I think. I have to change how I speak. If I'm going to reach out and maybe, just maybe, save some. Because that's our job. Our job is to preach the gospel and bring them in. Get them saved send them out. Or maybe they get saved out there. That's cool too. Jesus glorified. Either way. I'm good with that. I hope you are too. I'll be back with you again soon. Don't know how often I'm going to be able to do these because they're kind of fun. And I get to play with the green screen. I like the green screen. Oh, I just shut it up for a minute. Alright, it's back. Okay, we're good. Thanks for being there. See you soon. Or maybe you'll see me soon.